The links that I see between COVID, climate change, environmental injustice is essentially that when we are pushing poor people to move further and further into very delicate environments like tropical rainforests, um, into delicate riverbeds, mangrove zones, those sorts of places, we are actually forcing them in closer and closer contact with microbes and viruses that humanity may not have encountered before. And when we do so, these are very weak immune systems that are coming into contact with novel viruses, people who don't get enough nutrition, who don't necessarily have very good health care, and therefore their bodies are much more vulnerable to taking on and spreading new viruses. And so it's really an imperative to ensure that the poor get the nutrition, the agricultural support, the health care that they need um, in their places rather than forcing them further and further afield in order to fulfill their basic needs. And if we can do so, we can limit the kind of contact that they come into with novel diseases. I see three tasks for the Feed of Peace studies. The first task of the Feed of Peace studies is in a way to educate and teach and do research around the needed policies and tactics and approaches that we need to mitigate uh, the environmental crisis that is underway. But two, the field of peace studies also is needed to, in a way, educate our young people and others in building, building resilient communities, resilient individuals, resilient society, societies that are able to withstand in a way, these ecological degradations that are able to address the challenges of poverty, that are able to care for creation, and that are able to sustain human dignity. The third aspect that I see in terms of peace studies is really an education into integral ecology, the interconnectedness of all things. Integral ecology is a vision, is a mindset, uh, is a, a, in a way of, of looking at the world in these kind of many interconnected ways. Uh, the political, the economic, the social, the cultural, the personal, they all belong together. You cannot just deal with one aspect, they all be belong together. So educate and cultivating minds and young people in forms of that kind of thinking of integral ecology is one of the tasks also of, of, of peace studies. Perhaps this is what we are trying to get at here at the Kroc Institute by highlighting and stressing the question of intersectionality. The big assignment for the semester is what we call an intervention proposal. Um, and students have to co-produce with different groups on campus uh, a solution to a problem that they've identified. So they have to first find a problem that has ecological and social implications and kind of lay, out, lay those out. What are they? What's the scope of it? And how does that localized problem here on campus connect to broader problems? What is the kind of trend nationally and globally? Then they focus in on it and say, okay, who's, who's the managing authorities on campus? What are the applicable laws and policies or rules on campus that are associated with that? Who can do something about it? And what's the best way to do something about it? Is it creating awareness about the issue? Is it trying to change a policy? Is it getting people to just practice something different? Because there's different ways you can kind of target that, or you can build a complex intervention. And so we explore all these different ways because it's, it's important to identify the different issues that we face. It's just as important to find effective solutions. And so thinking about all those things and then putting it into a proposal and then actioning it, developing a strategic plan to action it. How are you actually going to do it with whom? What do you need? Have you found what you needed or how are you gonna get it? Um, so that we can really affect change. And most of the students that, that have been doing it this semester have already started actually actioning their plans. I am extremely impressed. I've done this with, with several hundred students and the, the group, this is the first time I've done it on Notre Dame and the students are immensely impressive on what they've been able to accomplish or identify and work with. 